Hi everyone. Yeah, we're a bit early today, but eh, it's a very, very warm day. I got myself some water. So. My stream says I'm going to be explaining myself. That's because I have this get to know me better piece that I did post on my Twitter. I didn't really get a chance to go all the way through it. And I think last time I did it, I had to go and delete the stream for uh, reasons. So it hadn't really had to go through it. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to have to go and save this, aren't I? This would be easier if I could show it on screen here. Do, do, do. And this is going to be... Yeah, just call it that. Okay, thank you for being so huge. Okay, let's go and just. Ooh, 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 ooh. Eh. A little bit too far there. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go re bring this up so I can look at it. The first question is, is my name my true name? Nope. It is kind of close though. My birthday, August 24th. Height. Uh, I want to say five foot five. I don't remember the last time I was actually a, I had a height measurement, but probably around there because like both my parents are like five foot ten and I'm just a bit shorter than them relationship status I am single and I'm fine with that what is the meaning behind your act well for sapphire moon dancer that's thank you phone uh Sapphire Moon Dancer, that is my character that is also in one of these games. Lunar Crystal Studios in both of my uh, Twitter and YouTube, that is just the name that I go by for doing my studio work for building games. Because obviously I want to go and at least have more than just me working on it because I I either burn out trying to do everything or I just can't like I can't make music so eh. at least it would be nice to have a musician number six cat or dog person cat I love my cats even if one decided to go and be really dumb as of yesterday because I went to sleep and he was outside my door from the time I fell asleep to the time I woke up just pawing he was just pawing at my door crying and I'm just like let me sleep Number seven, favorite movie or movies. That's probably going to be Mulan. Not not the live action one, the animated version. Mainly because that has left large ripples in my life as to, uh, let's see. That's where my love of Asian culture originated. 
that is where I started to like dragons. Where I got the idea that, you know, women can be strong. You know, very good themes that I all learned at a very young age from this movie. And it's just, that thing, it just affected everything. Favorite book or books? Um, I'm going to probably go with series here because I can't really pick a favorite book. But that's going to be the Twisted Tale series, which these are a whole bunch of like what if books from different Disney movies, which most of them have been really interesting. I think the only flop that I read was the Frozen and the Through the Looking Glass Doors. No, the, mm, the Looking Glass Wars book series. There. Rain is just fried. So, that is my two favorite book series. Piercings I have and want to have. I have no piercings. I would love to get my ears pierced, but unfortunately I cannot. My, uh, my left ear has not enough, oh, what's the word, the skin flap that you normally can pierce. There's not enough of that there. So they would have to pierce into cartilage and that heals really poorly if done wrong. So. Yeah, I, I cannot get my ears pierced. Idea of a perfect date. You know, I, I don't actually know that because I have not really dated anyone. So my idea of a perfect date would probably be, who knows? Starbucks drink. That is a matcha iced latte yeah i think that's the wording it's really good i like it i i really like it when it, there's less ice in it but then again i like things with less ice anyway future career choice well i i, I hope i get to go and you know publish video games uh, but it will happen eventually, hopefully. My lowest and highest grade. Um, I don't remember like overall grades, but I have remembered like one of my lowest scoring things that I had was like 41 in college. And then I've all, I've gotten like over a hundred stuff. So. Comfort food. You know what? That's going to have to be sushi right now. Specifically sushi with uh, spicy mayo. I like it. Chinese zodiac sign. The boar. Favorite hobbies. Well, besides, you know. Playing video games, making video games, sewing, drawing, writing, uh, I cross stitch. I already said sewing. It's like I do several different types of sewing because I so I sew costumes. I've sewn a plushie. I've done cross stitch pieces. So there's quite a bit. Places I visited. Uh, I've been to a lot of places in the United States. And places I'd like to visit. England and Japan are on the list. Just somewhere outside the United States because I haven't been to any place outside the US. Languages I'd like to learn. Japanese. 
I think that was going to probably be a little bit of an obvious guess. Languages I can speak. Well, obviously English. Uh, I know a little bit of French. And I know a little bit of Japanese because I took at least one class in college. Uh, couldn't really pick up any more electives past that point, but I did at least get one. Favorite season? Fall and winter are really tied. I can't really pick between the two, but I like the cooler temps. I love the seasonal smells that come out of it. The fact that I can bake. They're just really good seasons. Stuffed animals I own. I could not list all the stuffed animals I own. Uh, in fact, uh, once I get a curtain rod and uh, curtains up, I am going to go be making this small little area that I have that's like basically useless because the only way to get through it is by like a foot wide opening between my bed and the desk here. So it's like practically useless. But I'm like, if I just put a giant basket over there, I can just throw all my plushies there. So it's just going to be my huge plushie dump. Carbonara or spaghetti? Probably going to be spaghetti. I do like me some spaghetti. Most useless talent I have. You know, probably going to be the fact that I remember uh, cartoons, whatever have you, video games, anime. I remember a lot of things about them and will not remember anything about an actual person. Weapon of choice. Sword. Probably a claymore or a katana. I like both of them. Aesthetic I want. Ooh. Okay, so I sort of swing on aesthetics because my closet mostly at this point is like pastel goth. But I also really like the Lolita look. And then, of course, some witchy things because I have three, no, not three, four mushroom enamel pins and then usually night aesthetic as well. It's, it's really a huge hodgepodge. Favorite animes? Well, obviously I'm going to have to go and pick the ones that I got really big into, so that's going to be Naruto, Natalia, Attack on Titan, and Demon Slayer as of late, because I actually have I have several things with Nezuko. I have one of these one of the uh, other demons. I actually found them at like Target. Oh and then probably Sailor Moon, because even if it wasn't like one that I got into while it was running, I still got into it later because I like Sailor Moon. Favorite mangas? Ooh. They'll probably still be the same ones, except minus uh, Demon Slayer and Sailor Moon because I don't actually have those mangas. But. I do have The Ancient Magnus Bride, Black Butler, and Bad End Night. Those ones are good. Do I like Thrill? Eh, I guess you could say yes, because I do watch several scary YouTubers 
just because I like watching weird stuff. Uh, actually, when I've been watching the Science Channel, I've been watching like What on Earth and Strange Evidence because I'm like, ooh, what's this interesting thing? So, eh. Lucky number. 13. 13 is my lucky number. Hogwarts house. Slytherin. I am a Slytherin. Coffee or tea? Tea. I, I cannot drink coffee unless it is iced. I can at least drink tea much better. Favorite scent? Some sort of mix between like pumpkin, apple, and like cinnamon. Weirdest phase. No, I don't think I've actually had a weird phase. Mainly just because I don't deem anything specifically as weird. Because I mean, technically we're all weird. Most memorable birthday. Uh, I think it was either 18th or 17th birthday because one of those I ate just icing raw the entire night and in the morning we were actually going to go over to my second cousin's birthday party and I was so sick to my stomach waking up and I was like, oh gosh, I can't. Well, I didn't wake up. It was just more me in the morning. And then it's like, I go and take a small, like, 20 minute nap. And my parents are like, You're, you good? And I'm like, yeah, actually I feel fine. <laughs> like, nausea just went away and I was like, Okay. The other one was uh, I had two of my friends who were supposed to be coming to my birthday party. Unfortunately, at the time, they had become enemies with each other, mainly because one friend told the other friend's parents what they were doing, which was kind of not okay stuff. And I was just like, they trusted you with that information and you went behind their back because the only reason they told you was because they thought, hey, I can trust you. So it was just like, it was not good. I, I was like, really? So we had that. First cosplay. As much as like my first anime crush was Gara. My first cosplay was Sasuke Uchiha. And I think I probably did that because I knew cosplaying as Gara, I would have to go and like paint the love symbol on his head and I was like that that's going to be a problem. So I just decided to go with Sasuke I think because a recognizable character and B I didn't have to go through a whole bunch and yeah that was actually kind of fun characters I want to cosplay well I have Nightmare Sands on the list I have Malice Dracon uh, I want to make a mushroom just costume Luca and Miku from Vocaloid are also on the list. Top five songs. Okay, let's see what Spotify says as like specifically picked daily mix and I'll just list off the five songs there. <laughs> okay, Golden Time Lover, Discord, Bumblebee, I Ship It, and A Tale of Six Trillion Years and a Night. They're briefly followed up by The Disappearance of Hatsune Miku and Yellow. 
So, yeah. Favorite ice cream flavor. It is a bluebell ice cream flavor called Crazy Cookie. I like it. It's like, you know, cookie dough ice cream, except it doesn't have the chocolate chips part of it. And I love it. And current wish list is not really needed. Woo! So we've gone and done that. Ooh. Sorry for the on there. Oh, I definitely need that water. Okie dokie. Now it's time to get myself set up here. Okay, let's see what we are going to be doing. I'm just going to go through some of these other things because I need to make space. that. So let's see. Oh. I just take one look at the sprite and I'm just like, I really don't want to have to deal with it. He is just... Mm. Just such a pain. Okay, you know what? We're just going to go and do the other thing where I'm going and dealing with database stuff. Okay, let's see which one. Let's do items. Items! Yay! Because those at least don't take up a lot of effort. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there we are. This is this is good. Just that. A special day. Mm-hmm. 
figure out this stuff.
I'm getting caught up in doing other things. Mainly because fan fiction. I, I really. I'm gonna try and finish this up.
Okay. <laughs> I may just have to go and stop. Because I am being way too involved in this. And it's too long. Okay. I will be back. Probably later. So. Bye for now. I will probably be back.